On yesterday's video, Troy left a comment asking for more workflow type videos. Now one thing for me that goes into the workflow is how you're editing the actual files. And what I mean by that is there's offline editing and there's online editing. And essentially, with offline editing, you're not editing the full quality video. You're editing lower resolution or lower quality clips, which can be a lot more productive as it's not going to slow down your system to process these high resolution or really large files. Now, Final Cut includes features to make editing offline or editing proxy media really easy. We just have to generate proxy files. Now this can happen when you're importing your clips. Just click on the import button at the top left or press command I. Then select the clips you want to import and make sure to check the box that says create proxy media under the transcoding group. When you do that, after you click import, Final Cut will automatically generate those proxy media files. However, you're not utilizing them just yet. What you need to do is go up to the view menu at the top right of the viewer and go down to proxy under the media section. This basically tells Final Cut to play back and use that proxy media or the lower resolution offline clips instead of using the optimized or original clips. So I'm going to switch it to proxy and what you're going to notice is this clip on the timeline is missing that proxy file. This is because I did not generate proxy files when I was importing that clip. But that's okay, I can generate those proxy files after the case. I just have to find this clip in the browser, which you can do by right clicking or control clicking on the clip that's in the timeline, and choosing reveal in browser, which shows the clip right here. With that clip in the browser selected, I can go up to file and choose transcode media. And we're going to get a couple options. I can either choose to create those optimized media files, which tend to work better with Final Cut, but they're still really large. In this case, I want to choose create proxy media. This will create proxy files that are ProRes 422 proxy files, which perform so much better with Final Cut. They're going to be lower quality clips, but they still look really, really good. It's, it's hard for a lot of editors to notice the difference, especially when you're editing a rough cut or editing offline. So then I'm going to click on OK. And at the top left corner, the background tasks window, you can click on this to see what's happening. And in this case, it's transcoding that clip into the proxy file. <clears throat> now, if you have a whole bunch of them that are not in proxy, like all these other ones, you can select those as well and also turn those or transcode those into proxy media uh, files. Uh, Final Cut ha handles everything in the background. So I don't have to do anything. Once that file is created, it's going to create and, and display that file for us. So we don't have to worry about connecting it or lining anything up. And um, if you're comparing it to the other file, it's really hard to notice any difference in this clip. You can go and edit everything that, the same way that you would edit a normal clip. And then when you're done, you're going to want to click on View and change this back to optimized or original. And this switches it back to that original clip. So um, let me show you one example though here. If we're done with editing the project and you go to share the project, maybe we're gonna send it out as a master file, you're gonna get a little warning here that says this project is currently set to use the proxy media, which means if we export or share this project and create that master file, it is going to create it using the proxy files, which you don't want to do. Usually you're going to want to create that full quality version. So like it says here, make sure to choose optimized or original from that viewer's view menu. So I'm going to hit cancel, go back to view, and switch it to optimized or original. And that way you get the optimized and the full quality outside of this project. Now one more example before the end of this video. I want to show you my multicam clip that I shot uh, nine different angles for this clip. And I'm going to play it back here. And what you should notice is it's playing it back. Uh, normal speed, everything seems fine, right? And that's because it's using the proxy media. If I go up here to, or sorry, that's using the optimized media. Um, 
Now, if I use uh, under view, because with multi-cam clips, you're going to want to see all of the angles that are there. I'm going to go over to angles. And let me hide the browser. <laughs> so with, uh, with optimize there, I was playing back the one angle, and that was it. But now I have nine different angles uh, playing here. So let me hit the space bar to play this. We'll see if it even lets me do it. I get the spinning wheel. And it's kind of going back. You can see it's very laggy here. Uh, we get frames being dropped. It's, it's not doing a great job of keeping up with it. So I'm on an, on an iMac that's pretty powerful, but once I get to all nine of these different clips, it's having issues. But if I switch it to proxy media and play the same clips, it might be hard to tell over YouTube here, but every clip is playing back pretty smoothly. Um, even in the viewer there, you can see I'm running down this little hill, falling a little bit, but everything's playing back uh, pretty well. I can even go in here and start cutting between the different clips and editing this entire project and I'm not dropping frames. It's able to keep up with that entire process. And that's because it is using the proxy media. If I were to switch back to the original or optimized again, play it back, um, I hit the space bar to play it. You can see I'm getting a, a spinning wheel. It's not playing. And if I go to cut between clips, I, I can't even really do it. It's freezing. Everything's dropped frames. And you can see how much it's lagging here. It's really struggling to keep up with any of this. And if I pause it, there we get the drops frames uh, warning. So uh, that's why you want to use proxy media. I really want to use it to edit videos, especially when you're dealing with a little bit more complicated files or even just a couple layers. That proxy media can really help out with your workflow. Just make sure at the end of it to switch it back to the optimizer, the original files so that when you go to share the project, you're getting the full quality export at the end. Um, there was one other thing I wanted to mention. We are generating additional files when you are creating that proxy media. So it is going to take up additional storage space on whatever drive you're storing this on. So um, just kind of keep that in mind because the locations where those files are being stored are uh, you're essentially going to get more files on there because of those proxy files. So make sure you have enough storage space on your external drives. You can always go in uh, to these locations and modify them if you do need to for the storage locations. Uh, but I think it's definitely worth it. You'll definitely want to use that proxy media. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you here for today. Please leave a comment if you got anything specific you'd like to see. If you like the videos, let me know in a comment or give me a thumbs up. And everyone have a wonderful rest of your day. Make sure to head over to Instagram.com slash Final Cut Pro help to see additional tips.